To be honest with you, I did not want to make this video. But I've been trading for four years and I've been in the deepest parts of the trading industry. And often I've stayed quiet because I thought that this was not my place to tell. But it wasn't until recently that I found an aspect of this that I believe is so detrimental that it can be a big pillar of your downfall. Forex gurus. And for the sake of my safety, so I don't say that one guru is better than the other, I will just completely refrain from saying names. You're being deceived and you don't even know it. But today we will uncover the truth, the real truth. For legal reasons, these are just my opinions that I extensively researched in the same way that you would research something that you would believe to be factually true. But again, these are just my opinions. So there's been a critique in the past few weeks of someone that gathered a lot of views by basically talking about the prop firm industry, saying things that we've already knew about the prop firm industry, but shining such a bad light onto it that makes it seem bad. And I'm not saying that it isn't because I do believe that the prop firm industry does have positives and negatives and we'll talk about all that today but first let's talk about the points that were made against the prop firm industry the first point that was given was that ftmo said in their homepage that professional traders abide by their own rules and they stick to it with discipline and consistency but then they reframed it into the fact that you have to follow ftmo's rules to be funded with ftmo's money saying that that makes absolutely no sense because if you're saying that a trader follows their own rules, why do we have to abide by your rules? To which I would say, I don't go into your house and I say, okay, I'm going to follow my rules here. So if I'm going into your house, you are expected to tell me what the rules are, right? If I'm not allowed to walk with my shoes, then it's perfectly fine. It's your rules right? So why does a company that gives you their money has to abide by your rules? It makes sense that a trader has to follow their own rules, their own systematic approach. But if you're looking for someone else's money, then you have to abide by their rules, even if it's short term, if you want to pass a challenge. For example, if you are going into private investors, you can be sure that you are expected to have a drawdown limit. You can't just walk around with minus 50% drawdown with investors capital. And here I'm talking about private investors. So why would FTMO be any different? It's simply a company that has a set of rules to filter out who they want to give them their own possible money. To which then what was said was that prop firms are a sales company selling a product. To which I would say, I guess so 100%. But what really matters is if the profitable traders, the ones that are being profitable are getting paid out. And I know that there have been some issues of people that have not been paid out because they kind of find a way when you are extremely profitable to see if you did something wrong. And if there's something that they can pinpoint, they will probably not pay you out. And yes, that is one of the predatory things of the industry. I have to agree on that. But from my experience, I've withdrawn thousands of dollars from prop firms and still I have never been denied a payout. And that is the only thing that matters for people that are actually profitable. But then going back into the idea of, oh, each trader has to follow their own rules, but then you have rules that you have to abide by. The person said, oh, different traders have different styles, to which I would say there's a plethora of prop firms now out there that don't limit you on trading days, that don't restrict you to hold through news, that don't restrict you to hold over the weekend. So you can do all of these things and you are not going to get breached. So yes, different traders have different trading styles, but there's also different prop firms for different types of traders. So you can make an informed decision before you buy a prop firm. Then point four was that there are no investors, to which I would say we don't really know. What I would point out here is that in the beginning, there were most probably investors because for people that don't understand the prop firm industry, one thing that I can tell you is that the first three months are the highest risk months for the prop firm. The first one, three months to a year. 
they are the most highest risk because you have the least amount of revenue thus far and if there's someone that really gets a big payout and you don't a book them what is going to happen is that you are going to get a big hit on your profits so i do believe that ftmo started out with investors and that person said that ftmo is making 300 million per year which is true so now they don't really need investors but i wouldn't say that they don't have it because your opinion is not that well formed you're just filling in some blanks with your imagination before the last one it was said that each trader has their own style of trading once again hammering on the same idea which again is true and i agree but still it's not your money it's not your rules it's not your house it's not your rules it's your house is your rules it's your capital it's your rules okay so if you're telling me that okay if i go into a broker i have to use the broker's rules i would say no i'm going into a different broker but if you are going for a prop firm and you are complaining about the rules well you can simply make an informed decision now the last point to me was the most hypocritical and that was that prop firms sell you the dream yeah let's dig a little bit deeper into it while these points are being made he or she that made this video did not hesitate to tell you that they flipped already two accounts from very low figures into hundreds of thousands of dollars is that not selling you a dream i think it is and if you dig a little bit deeper if you just click on some links you will see that that same person that is telling you that they flipped an account is also selling you a course and it's selling you signals so what is that person doing they are selling you the dream that they have just flipped an account from an amount that everyone has into an amount that everyone wishes that is the definition of selling you a dream so you're saying that prop firms are selling a dream yet still in the same video you said it more than three times the fact that you flipped an account knowing that the probability of someone being able to flip an account are near zero and we'll talk about flipping accounts in a second because there is a much bigger scheme behind this which we will dig into now so this person is telling you that prop firms make money from you losing and i've said it a million times in this channel that a big pillar of prop firms profitability is you losing but what these people fail to mention is that they also make money from you losing that's why when you go into their affiliate programs you never see a really really good broker like a td ameritrade an interactive brokers and whatsoever you always see offshore brokers and what are these offshore brokers these offshore brokers are brokers that are not regulated in the us which means that your money is not protected and they do not have to report to any financial institution in the us and what are these brokers these brokers are b book brokers why because they know that the most amount of people that will sign up into that broker will lose money so if you are losing money most probably the broker is definitely going to bet against you that's what a b book broker is just like prop firms just a different business model a different name so let's refrain it a little bit these people are telling you that prop firms are the devil because they make money out of you losing but they are recommending you to go to a broker using signals that they know that you will eventually lose with you see the hypocrisy here these people are telling you that prop firms are the devil but they're selling you signals they're selling you courses they are selling you an affiliate to a broker that is unregulated so who's really on the wrong side here and who would have thought that these people are also selling you courses signals and these brokers that they make a lot of money from and they would not like prop firms because maybe it's eating a little bit away of your business maybe because you don't know how to trade and a prop firm wouldn't fake their results maybe this person doesn't know how to trade and they need unregulated brokers to make it seem as they know how to trade but we'll get into that and let me just make a point that with all this i do not think that prop firms are great i understand that the business model is a little bit predatory but think about this most people lose money most traders lose money so why would the statistic of 95 percent of traders failing prop firm be more predatory than the fact that 95 percent of traders fail either way someone is making money from these traders the whole 
trading industry is predatory. When you make money, that means someone else has lost money, okay? So you have to understand that the whole industry is predatory, but there's always conflict of interest. So prop firms may not be good, but unregulated brokers are not saints. So the difference here between big book brokers and prop firms is that the number of people that fail prop firms is much more out there than the number of people that fail on an unregulated broker. And you can see it in this video that was released. B-book brokers do not share their statistics. Prop firms do once in a while. And how many times, by the way, have you heard these gurus of telling you how many people have lost money with their signals? You don't really see it, right? But what do you see on social media? You see them posting profits after profits after profits. Every single day profits, baby, with my signals. Huh, but is that really the case? There's tons of videos out here of people trying out forex signals and proving that they are unprofitable. But yeah, prop firms really do seem like the bad guy here. But wait, you are selling dreams. You are telling people to go into the B-book broker with your signals that people will eventually fail with, but you sold them the dream that they can get their money that they can easily put into a deposit into hundreds of thousands of dollars. You sell them the dream and you don't tell them the truth. This is the problem with gurus. They sell you the dream, they sell you the lifestyle, and how do they get it? Through the signals. Guys, follow my signals so I make more money. And you, I know eventually you will blow it, but it doesn't really matter because while you are putting my signals onto the broker I affiliated you to, I'm making a lot of money. But let me tell you a secret. There is a darker side into the flips of these accounts. So let's get into that now. Have you ever wondered why these gurus have never showed themselves passing a prop firm, passing an FTMO challenge, passing a MyForex Funds challenge? They only do it with their own prop firm or with MetaTrader 5, which was with their personal capital. Hmm, that's weird. If you're that good at flipping accounts, then why not just go for a prop firm and have no risk on your side? If you're that profitable, just go into a prop firm, put the small investment in, have the big account, and then flip it. If you're that good, flip the prop firm account. But can you? Oh, but they are making money, they show us the trading history, and they withdraw. Which means, if they withdraw money, that means that they are profitable and it's a real account. Because on a demo account, you cannot withdraw. Hmm. That was good while it lasted, right? Now there's a whole different marketing scheme behind it. There's something called marketing accounts. Influencers are offered something called a marketing account. But what does it mean? It means that it's an account that you are supposed to show profits on, even though you did not enter in the trade. But what do you do? You tell the broker, listen, put me a trade from here to here on Euro dollar. And what will they do? They'll go into their settings, they'll set the trade, and you can show the profits because it will be in your account history. The same thing with withdrawals. You can also withdraw money from that account. And it's so funny that I've never seen these flips on accounts on TD Ameritrade. I've never seen it on accounts of Oanda. I've never seen it in accounts of really regulated brokers. Is it not weird that it's always in unregulated brokers? Why would that be? Oh wait, marketing accounts. Regulated brokers cannot offer you marketing accounts. And how do I know this? Because I've been offered these accounts. Not only me, but probably all the influencers that you've seen on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, they have been offered these accounts because the broker business is very profitable. I've been offered up to $800 per sign up of the people that I get to sign up and deposit with these marketing accounts. Because again, what are these marketing accounts for? Oh, you show the profits, people ask you, or you just say, I'm using this broker. You sell people the dream, and then people sign up to that exact broker. Are you understanding that the person that made this video was trying to tell you that prop firms are so predatory because they sell you the dream and a lot of people fail without telling you that he or she was also selling you the dream that you would try with their signals, their course, their broker, that was 
a marketing account. Because else, what is the problem with prop firms? If you're that profitable, just go for a prop firm. Go ahead. But can you do these marketing schemes on a prop firm? No because it would be illegal. The gurus that do this probably own the prop firm that they are doing this with. But again, don't forget, this is not really done a lot because it's highly illegal. And you can literally, if the operation gets too big, you can literally go to jail for this. But hey, not with unregulated brokers, right? In marketing accounts. Of course. So what these people do once again is that they paint the prop firm as the devil while they are behind the scenes having these marketing accounts, showing you these flips, selling you the dream, and then selling you into all their services. And that's where they make the money, man. Deceiving, right? But yeah, prop firms are the problem. And to be honest, I don't care if the person that you are watching sells signals, sells a course, sells whatever it is. I really just do not care. If this video was made just by saying, oh, I think that prop firms are predatory and they make money out of people losing, I would be like, okay, you're not saying anything new. So I probably might disagree with you a little bit, but it's normal because if you really do this like prop firms, it's normal that I'm going to disagree because if I use prop firms, that means that I'm biased. And it's true, this whole video may be a little bit more biased towards prop firms because it's something that I use, 100%. But I'm telling you this upfront. I tell you that this video may be a little bit biased and it's normal. But the people that are doing this, they do not tell you the bigger scheme slash the bias that is behind all this. You understand the difference? My problem is when you are being lied right in front of your face by someone that makes it seem as if they are legitimate just to sell you a product on the side without telling you what their biases are. That's the real issue. Because let's recap the whole scheme behind it. They say they flip accounts, they did it three times in the video and then when they sell you the dream of flipping accounts you look for ways to do it yourself and you see oh my god this person actually sells signals maybe i can take them and also flip an account because also remember this i it came to me while i was recording this right now it's always low amounts of money into big amounts why because the low amount is something that you can deposit into a broker we're talking like a hundred bucks flipping a hundred box to ten thousand dollars right it's never like oh i flipped 100k into a million it's always i flipped a small amount something that you that are watching can also deposit into a broker into a big amount that you would love to have you see how predatory this is there's a whole psychology scheme behind this. So you check the page, you see that they sell signals, they sell a course, they sell a broker, and you just fill their pockets with money. So they make these big videos exposing the industry because they want this funnel to work. They want a hundred thousand of people to watch and actually click, click, click money. They make it seem as if prop firms are predatory when they are just as predatory as the, the guy next door. And one side note that I love this. I love it when these gurus put it on their website that they have been featured on Yahoo Finance. They have been featured on Market Watch. But listen, you can buy that. You can literally go to Fiverr and I'm telling you, if you want to learn to be a scammer, go to Fiverr, pay 500 bucks and you will be featured on Yahoo Finance. And then you can say, mom, I was featured in Yahoo Finance, look at me. So even that is a lie. Like they literally lie through their teeth in front of you, telling you that we are the ones that lie when they are even paying for attention. They are paying to make sure that they seem legitimate. You see who's really predatory here. but. How can you actually know if you can trust someone? There are two ways. One, that person can do something that Umar Ashraf also did, which was showing them logging in onto their TD Ameritrade live account of a regulated US broker and show you the trade history. And Umar did this with over seven figures in profit. Okay, so that's one way that you can know that someone actually made money. So if they are making money from an unregulated broker, 
an offshore broker do not trust it it doesn't make sense if you can make money on an unregulated broker go do it on a regulated broker and then you also have the opportunity of seeing people through their payout certificates with prop firms why because you can't fake it it will be illegal if you fake the payouts some people do don't get me wrong some people do in this industry but most of the people that you see that have the profit splits and that they have the certificates they are actually making money how well that would be a whole nother video because we can dig deeper into people that also try to scam you through prop from profit splits so there are many ways to look at this but let's stay with these forex gurus so as you can see are prop firms predatory i would say yes in a way the business model is a little bit predatory of course you are making money out of people losing but i would also say that this is the trading industry as a whole the trading industry as a whole is predatory if you don't make money then i am probably making money so if i want to buy someone has to sell so someone is losing money or is losing the opportunity to make money you need to understand this about trading as a whole and finance as a whole it is predatory now what is more predatory you tell me is it lying through your teeth without letting you know how you are going to lose money or prop firms that you know are going to make money out of people that are losing but that they will pay out people that do make money legitimately because that's the thing with prop firms you know that only three percent of people get to their face first payout i know that after someone's payout there's a 40 percent chance that you lose the account in the next 48 hours these are all statistics and don't forget that this person that made this video also only has all these stats because they make it public they didn't make any big research that it's super secret just go onto twitter you'll find the same things that he or she said okay and you see normally when the video starts with look at me i'm credible look at what i've already did they are probably just selling you something and they are not to be trusted it's the same thing as me telling you health advice and then you asking me for a source and i just say trust me bro i know what i'm saying how many times do these people actually know what they're saying? As a final thought, I would love to challenge some of these gurus for a trade-off. Let's do this. I'll pay for a challenge of a prop firm. I'll pay for yours and I'll pay for mine. And we'll do content behind this. Don't worry, you will make money. And then for two weeks, we trade the account that the login, not the password, the login number is public. So you cannot change the account. And we'll see who has the best returns. And believe me, I think I am your best opponent. Why? Because the probability of you making more profits if you are actually legitimate is higher than me making profits, okay? If you're that good, I'm not an amazing trader. I am not, let me tell you that. So if you are that good, let's do a trade-off and you can then make a video saying that you won if you're really that good, right? And we'll do it on a reputable firm because they will not fake the results. So yeah, there's always an agenda behind every single video that you watch, especially a video exposing the industry. And I'm making this video as a way of showing you how these Forex gurus actually run their whole scheme behind it to make sure that they make money out of you. So now you know how they deceive you. And don't forget that this is an industry that makes money out of your attention. Social media makes money out of people's attention the more attention you have probably the more money that you make so what do they do they sell you something that you really really want a lifestyle because that's what gets the most amount of attention your desire to get rich quick you need to make sure that you see through all this shit and that you are not deceived by the people that are selling you a get rich quick scheme trading is not easy you will not make it in six months a year you will not make it by looking at someone else's signals there's much more work behind trading than just taking someone's signals and the chances of you flipping an account from 100 bucks into one hundred thousand dollars is as big as me dating kylie jenner not impossible but highly unlikely hope you guys enjoyed